this is just easier for me. I feel like the product goes along a I feel like the products go a lot along. I'm not naked. I'm on a shirt. You just can't see it. Okay. So today we are gonna do our brows. I always get a lot of questions not on youtube obviously because i've been here for like two days but i always get a lot of questions how i do my brows because i do them pretty like they're not instagram eyebrows but they're still kind of natural but like not like i didn't put anything on them so they're kind of in between so i get a lot of questions about how i do them especially since i'm blonde i feel like it's really hard to do blonde eyebrows i feel like black eyebrows always look 10 times better than blonde eyebrows no matter like how good you do them i don't know maybe that's just my imagination anytime you ever see like a really nice instagram photo of a makeup look i feel like they always either have black or brown eyebrows not taupe not blonde <laughs> it took a while for me to figure out how to get my blonde eyebrows to look nice so hopefully you'll learn something from this i don't know so the first step to getting really nice eyebrows is to groom your eyebrows you don't have to necessarily go get them waxed every week but keep them tweezed so I have a few that I'm just gonna get okay and then another trick that a lot of people don't do is to trim your eyebrows with itty bitty little baby scissors so don't do this if you aren't confident and what you're doing you don't want to chop off your eyebrows accidentally they grow back but <laughs> you might will have a few days of missing eyebrows so you're just going to take a spoolie and brush them up and take your little itty bitty scissors and just kind of trim them like that you can also brush them down and you're just getting the kind of long straggly ones you could do this with hair shears too i just think the little tiny ones are easiest does anyone else ever like eat spaghetti at home by yourself and then you look in the mirror and you realize you have it all over your face yeah just did that so i do brows first that is the very very first thing that i do in my makeup routine before a foundation before eyeshadow anything this is just easier for me. The products go on a lot easier. Things turn out a lot smoother and it is a lot easier to go back and clean things up. This is the same thing I've said about doing eyeshadow before foundation, but the same thing applies to my brows. I use two, potentially three products, depending on the day and depending on how my eyebrows are behaving. So I always use a pencil, a pomade, and a gel. So. For the pencil today, I'm using the It Cosmetics Brow Power in the color Universal Taupe. How universal is it? I'm not sure. I've never seen it on other skin tones or hair colors, but for me, it works. So, And I like having either a magnifying mirror or a really tiny magnifying mirror. It just makes things a lot easier for me to be up close and able to see what I'm doing. You're going to brush your hairs so that they're all going that way. You don't want any wonky ones. I'm going to start on the bottom. I'm just going to make a slight line. Oh, I think I should bring you in even closer. I apologize. Ah! Ooh. I don't like that, but... I love you, so, mm. okay, we, so we just did that line, now we're gonna make another one until we get to the arch, and you don't want this, we're just kind of sketching out our line at this point, and you're gonna make one going down, over to the arch, And then bring them down. And we look absolutely ridiculous. I 
Okay, so then we got that shape going on. Then we're just gonna feather out those harsh lines. Then I am taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the color Blonde. I just realized I keep putting taupe in my descriptions when I clearly use blonde. Taupe is way too gray for me. Whatever. Anyways. Then I'm going to take a angled brush. I'm just gonna dip it in. If your dip brow is starting to get dry, I like to mix eye drops into it and it helps soften it up a bit more. This brush is from the Morphe 12 piece eye something kit. Anyways, um, so we just filled, drawn our outline with a pencil. Now we're going to fill them in with our pomade. Pomade. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato. And you see I accidentally went too far down, but that's okay. Then you're just gonna spoolie everything and blend it out. I hate just having a nose. I just look like a nose. But then I don't like that because you can see all my scars. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep blending this. Blending is the key to everything. It's the key to eyeshadow, it's the key to eyebrows, it's the key to foundation, it's the key to highlighter, it's the key to blush. So now this looks absolutely ridiculous and I'm well aware, but we're gonna tone it down a bit. But before we can do that, since my brows kind of like to grow down, you can see I usually have to set them with a gel. Sometimes the dip brow is enough to hold them, but Sometimes I need to go in with the gel. So I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. And we are just going to brush those hairs up and set them in place. So then we're gonna let that gel dry and my eyebrows are already moving down. Stay. So as you can see, I really don't have a big arch, but I faked my arch. So eyebrows are just like any other makeup. You can fake a cheekbone, you can fake a smaller nose, you can fake an arch. Okay, so then I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape. You can use any concealer, whatever's your favorite. I need a new one. I'm scratching the outsides of the thing. You're gonna take a flat synthetic brush and your shape tape. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna carve out the brow. And this is going to clean up all those nasty lines. I'm just 
gonna kind of take, you can either take a beauty sponge or your finger. And I'm just gonna blend those two harsh concealer lines. You can also use that brush you had. eyebrow like obnoxious fade and all of that or fake hairs or anything it's just really natural easy natural for me probably not for a lot of people but natural for me so that's it 